Hey guys, we just wanted to take a second to let you know that GMM is up for show of the year at the Streamy Awards. But we need your votes and tweets to win. You can vote by tweeting, I vote for hashtag Good Mythical Morning for show of the year at the hashtag Streamies, or you can vote by clicking on the link in the description. Now your tweets have to include hashtag Good Mythical Morning, the word vote, and hashtag Streamies. You can also retweet our tweet, and that will count as a vote. Voting continues through September 17th, and you can tweet vote 100 times per day. Press pause now and do it. Let's show the world what mythical beasts are made of. Uh, Thanks for being your mythical best. Kids watch some seriously bizarre stuff. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. It's tough to make kids happy. Trust me, I hang around three of them a lot and uh, you never know what's gonna please them. Hmm. Um, and. TV networks don't have a clue either, as evidenced by <laughs> years of serving up the most bizarre and absurd entertainment Right. Um, that sometimes I look over my kid's shoulder or look back through the internet. Yes. We've gone very it, deep today. Especially into the 80s, and you find some of the craziest stuff. It's like, I don't know if they're gonna like this, but let's just make it as weird as possible and see what happens. Well, these clips that we're gonna show you are the answer to what happens. Starting off with Booba, uh, a British kids show. It ran from 2003 to 2006. Link, there's haven't no, seen it. No better way to explain it to you than to let you just watch a little bit of it. Let's do it. Whoa! Yep, they're farting out of pods. Uh, Ooh! I don't know. I think those are the boobas. They also fly. I bet their farts smell and good, like, like fruit. Look at that. They harmonize. Five. Are they singing? Harmony. Yeah. Well, they're humming at least. That is. That's, it gets better. They also do this. Psychedelic, Watch. man. <laughs> Are they farting? <laughs> yeah, that's a fart dance, Link. Are they, you kidding me? They do this. As far as I can tell, they really like to fart. Look is this. this on loop? Is this like a vine? No, no. Or is this the actual show? This is the show. Look. Look. Still farting. Still farting. Do they talk? No, they fart a lot, though. They do not talk, they make, they sing and they fart. And then look, look, end of the day, this is just like me, when I go to bed, <laughs> I go right down into my turtleneck. Ooh, goodness, I can tell that uh, they ran that footage in reverse and they ran the farts in reverse too. That's it, that's booba, Link. That, I don't think I'm gonna be able to sleep soundly for at least a week now. Um, I thought the one that I'm about to show you was the creepiest thing, but because that one was so colorful, oh. Um, I think that's even creepier than this, but let me know what you think. Um, it starts off with a mime, so you know you're starting yeah. off on like a, in a creepy place. I don't like mimes. This is an early 80s children's show, the BBC. BBC. <laughs> uh, BBC made it for preschoolers. It was called Jigsaw, and um, this mime is called Nosy Bonk. Okay. Here's Nosy Bonk pottering around and planting a clue to the whole world. I mean, look at that mask. He's planting a seed. He's, do I need to tell you that? And from the side, his mask isn't that creepy. I'm concerned about his nose. I feel like he, he has a problem. But look at the front, look at that. And then God. he's growing more noses. noses. And he's happy about it. He's like, that's right, I grew six noses. <laughs> hey, okay. Is he happy about growing six noses or the fact that he's about to like eat your face off or something? Like, I mean, I is that not the scariest thing? I wouldn't let my children watch that. Now, I've gotta ask, is is this a coincidence that the name of that show is Jigsaw and- it's the horror movie. And the guy from Saw's name is is uh, And he wears a Jigsaw. weird mask, right? I haven't seen Saw. I don't watch I'm too either. afraid to watch the movie Saw and I'm too afraid to watch any more of uh, nosy well, bonk. you might be too afraid to watch EIEI -E Yoga <laughs> from 1996, a direct VHS children's uh, series teaching kids how to do yoga with a barnyard theme. Check it out. Hi, I'm Yogi Yoki Doki, and this is my farm. <laughs> go, go, do the lead. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's a Rastafarian rooster. Looks like I you. Suppose, Rasta. Good morning, how now? Nice hat. Yeah, man. Listen to this. You can milk Sister Moo Cow for all the information. Yogi, She's yogi, got information. Yogi, oh. You can yoga. milk her. Yoga information? And then like, the children show up and he hugs them. Not, not creepy at all. Slow your roll in the hugs, Yogi. It's a soccer player. Wow, do you feel that wind? 
He does. Every time I feel a wind like this, it reminds me of something very, very important. It reminds me to breathe. I think you all know what breathing is. Remember to breathe. That's her information? Yeah. Breathe. They got a milker for that? Yeah. Remember to yeah that's breathe. all she ever breathing says. is? Don't forget to breathe, little yogis. Vegetable, vegetable, Out of nowhere, vegetable, this vegetable, vegetable song. Vegetable, 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 That's not vegetable, yoga. Vegetable, vegetable, That's nutrition. Vegetable, and look, this is Yogi Yogi Doki. Are his some, pants yoga pants or jeans? They're jeans. He's in a barnyard, Link. No, they are fake jeans that are yoga pants. All right. This guy should Sign be, your kids up now. He should be doing yoga from a padded cell, not a barnyard set. Yeah, I like that. Was, hey, I like his hairstyle. The, and the wind really revealed some nice features on Yogi Doki Yoki's face. Uh, shall we Japanese anime? We should. Um, Shima Shima Toro no Shimahiro translates striped island tiger Shimahiro. Uh, it's basically a tiger boy that learns all types of stuff, huh. uh, including how to use the potty. This should be interesting. <laughs> yeah, he's got an itch in the booty. Dad has an idea. Oh, what? Is that a bouncing turd? No, that's a chocolate bean with a face on it. And the toilet has a face on it too. It's a smart toilet. Now I can only guess that they're uh, um, singing something about getting ready to poop. This is what my parents yes. did with me. I remember it vividly. Look. Oh my goodness. Pinata. I don't know why there's a pinata in an anime. Oh no! Oh no, Dad. <laughs> well, somebody's got to wipe the bean off. Now. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness! What did? They <laughs> I don't like a personified turd, though. That makes me feel sorry for it but, when it but, goes away. But Rhett, he was so happy to go the into turd? the swimming pool. Oh, Dad didn't look. Dad looked too happy. I, I mean, I've had to wipe my kids' butts. <laughs> I've never smiled while doing it. Did you ever do a dance like no, this? No, I've never danced either. Your, but your parents danced like that? Uh, no, Link. I was making that up. I think that would that one's effective. Like, I want to uh, do number two right now. Okay, please, please hold it. Um, <laughs> if you have any idea what kind, if you want to know what kind of TV was being made when we were born, you have to look no further than Bigfoot and Wild Boy. Oh yeah. Uh, we've actually talked about this a long time ago, like in a Rent and Linkcast Live or something, but uh, this still, to this day, remains my favorite television show that I never actually watched, other than this one episode that's on YouTube. Check it out, Link. Oh, there he is. Out of the great northwest comes yep. the legendary Bigfoot, who eight years ago saved a young child lost in the vast Oh, and wilderness. what do they call him now? That child until he grew up to be wild boy. Yes. Okay. Watch out for that real man. Look at this guy. He's lunging after wild boy. Right, something's wrong with the man. He doesn't have a good lunging technique because wild boy is able to get out of the way very easily. Is that the but language of the Bigfoot? Bigfoot. Look, check this out. Watch this. This is how he, he, he approaches people. So in slow mo, and then like a rocket, like a Bigfoot rocket link. Whoa! <laughs> That's quite a leap. Look at this. And then he's just like, here I am. He jumped that far just to land? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now I gotta run some more. <laughs> that, Look, she just jumped too. Listen, listen. And, and she jumped? Almost as fast as Bigfoot, who only moves in slow motion. Which is confusing. Who are they, right? They they're, they're women from the future, but look, he's totally thwarted by this net. By he's a like, blanket. Oh, oh my goodness, I don't know what to do. There's the zombie dude with cliffhanger. Become a gladiator controlled by these evil women. Will Bigfoot also become the robot of the look queen it. from look another Bigfoot. time zone? Is there any way the young princess can regain her throne and return her city of the future to peaceful Gee, rule? Watch. Be with us next week and see in the exciting conclusion of Bigfoot and Wild Boy. The woman to Bigfoot ratio seems really good yeah, in this show. Yeah, that's one of the great things about the show. <laughs> hey, Lots of ladies with uh, yellow blankets. Sept scepters. Well, those are nets, Link. No, I think you, you think you're thinking of them as blankets. Come he on, he has now. a weakness for a yellow blankets. It's like you you drape him in one, and he's just like, oh, oh he totally knows he could get out of there. He's like, oh, ladies, take me away. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> yes. 
Um, Where was Wild Boy, by the way, when this happened? Why didn't Wild Boy come out and like poke a hole in the net? Wild Boy doesn't do any. He gets saved by Bigfoot. He just oh. he's just kind of there. He's he's Bigfoot's son. <laughs> he's Bigfoot's son. And like, those women were from the future. Yeah, it's I, I just to let you know, I watched the conclusion and they end up being okay. You watched the whole thing. Yeah, the women from the future they they thwart them. The, oh, the women are okay. No. I want to know if Bigfoot's okay. Bigfoot and, and Wild Boy are okay. Okay, good. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Man. Um, Follow so along. It's interesting that that gets a little sci-fi because I'm about to go full sci-fi and full puppet, all right? All this, right. Is, this is the early 80s. It's got, well, it's not right now. What I'm about to show you is. Um, this is later than the 80s, uh, an indefinite period later. I'm talking about time right now. Oh, yeah, it's 2015. Or later. Um, Back in the 80s, a team of expressionless sci-fi puppets defend the planet from attacking aliens uh, led by a wrinkly-faced boss lady named Zelda. Hmm. Um, I, I did not know you could get so overdramatic while simultaneously being so expressionless. Uh, watch this um, edit that we made here of Terra Hawks. Zero, take your squad to the side of the energy source and report. Sir. And use reasonable caution. Expect caution? the unexpected. <laughs> that's how yes, you say caution. Sir. Caution is not a word. And that's Good his. Luck, Sergeant Major. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mom. Yeah, that's that's their son. It's a it's a Whoa! it's a robot ball. The theory about the energy source is correct. I wouldn't say that's the that's their son's head. There. No, it's just a robot who goes and does reconnaissance, and then a ship gets big out there. It was a small ship. It got big. And there's a keep Zelda's calm, on him, baby. Look, he's using caution. You're oh coming my. with me to Mars, and then we'll take you apart to see what makes you tick. Oh, she's you've slipped not up, nice. Android. I'm only one of nine clones. Ha! Gotcha. Kill me, <laughs> I don't care about my life. I'm throwing caution hours. to the wind. <laughs> <laughs> and then, look, she. Oh, look at this and guy. What would you do, 101? It's not for us to make decisions. But you can if you want. We can't make decisions. The doctor would not We're like robots. us to start making decisions. You're right, of course. You made a weird decision I with those glasses. What? 101? He's thinking. 101. <laughs> I wish I could move my eyes like that. Open fire. Oh. What have I done? What have the producers done? <laughs> I am seriously looking at it, getting some Terra Hawk action going on. I could get I'm into gonna watch that. this whole season. Um, Lando was watching this over my shoulder, and of course, when he saw Zelda, he like put his foot up and was like covering her face up with his foot, but he still wanted to watch it with me. So I think that passes the test. Right, yeah, It yeah, passes yeah. the... He just showed a little uh, caution with his foot. I mean, Preschooler it, putting the school, foot up. Whatever. Um, so out of all these, my vote is for Terra Hawks. I don't know if we are voting, but but feel free to do that in well, the comments. Well, I would like to bring Bigfoot and Wild Boy back. You can be Wild Boy, you know who I'm gonna play. Let us know what you think is <laughs> the most absurd, bizarre, weirdest, uh, cautionary, um, show for kids that we missed yes. in the comments. And thanks for liking and commenting and subscribing. You know what time it is. I'm Katie. And I'm Andrew. We're from Camas, Utah. It's Miniature Horse Monday. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Make sure you follow us on Instagram. That's Rhett and Link on Instagram. Every Monday over there is Miniature Horse Monday. Click through the Good Mythical More. I got even more completely absurd and bizarre kids shows complete with clips for our mutual um, enjoyment, if it doesn't freak us out. This just in, meteor-sized meatball crash lands in Italy. This just in, a meteor-sized meatball has just crash landed in Italy. Local man was quoted as saying, Oh, hey, look at the meatball. It's so big. It's like a meteor. Hey. It's like in a jackpot. Oh, hey. It's in a jackpot. Back to you, Jill. I have no face and little will of my own. I cannot kill. It is the one shred of self-esteem I have left.